This is the Washington Times front page for Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The Pentagon confirms it has put 8,500 troops on heightened alert status for potential deployment to Ukraine as NATO has sent more ships and fighter jets to Eastern Europe. Ben Wolfgang reports foreign policy analysts say Russian President Vladimir Putin gains a strategic advantage by dragging out the military standoff along Ukraine's border. The ultimate goal, they say, is to exacerbate disagreement and divisions among the U.S. and its NATO allies and cast doubt on how effectively the West can respond if Russian tanks roll into Ukraine. With more than 100,000 Russian forces now stationed along the border with Ukraine, the U.S. and its NATO allies have warned Russia that it will face severe consequences for any military action. The Supreme Court has announced it will hear a discrimination case involving Asian students who say Harvard University's affirmative action system discriminates against them. Stephen Dinan reports Harvard says its policy works to help applicants who are underrepresented in their student bodies. But since admissions are capped, Students for Fair Admissions, the group challenging the policy, says that inevitably means some white or Asian students who are more qualified don't get into the school. Harvard had asked the justices not to hear the case and said that in taking up the matter, the court could end up altering the makeup of student bodies at top schools across the country. Harvard's latest class drew 57,786 applicants and admitted 2,320 students. Of those, the school said 16% were African American, 26% Asian American, 13% Hispanic or Latino, 1% Native American, and half a percent Native Hawaiian. The Great Resignation isn't just for rank and file workers. Sean Salai reports corporate CEOs are also quitting their jobs in significant numbers during the COVID 19 pandemic. The executive outplacement firm Challenger, Gray, and Christmas reports that the number of CEOs who left their jobs in the fourth quarter of 2021 was 16% higher than a year earlier. A total of 106 left their jobs in December and 142 in October, helping to make 2021 the second highest year on record for departures. Resignations announced last year included several longtime CEOs, Amazon's Jeff Bezos, Twitter's Jack Dorsey, Disney's Bob Iger, and American Airlines' Doug Parker. Meanwhile, the number of startup businesses looking to hire executives soared to record highs last year. Hiring company ZipRecruiter reported that openings for executives hit a peak of 40,681 in October. That was up from a monthly average of 22,072 in 2020. A reminder that you can find all these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. If you don't have access yet, you can visit WashingtonTimes.com slash George for a special subscription offer. Police have been shot at 22 times through the first 24 days of the year, with three officers killed, according to data from the National Gun Violence Archive. Jeff Mordock reports last year was the deadliest on record for police officers, according to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. In 2021, 62 officers were fatally shot in the line of duty, a 38% increase from the 45 killed by firearms in 2020. Law enforcement officials say the crisis has been exacerbated by changes demanded by social justice activists that have reshaped the criminal justice system. And finally, a report from the Conservative Capital Research Center found that 24 district attorneys have been elected since 2015 with help from Democratic-funded political action committees. Valerie Richardson reports those committees have spent at least $29 million, according to the report. Critics have countered that violent crime shot up even in jurisdictions where Democratic-leaning prosecutors are not in charge, including some cities that are run by Republicans. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us on your favorite podcast platforms just by searching Washington Times in your favorite podcast app. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Watch Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerber.